is not only about our First Amendment right to speak. But here's the thing about the First Amendment. The First Amendment protects free speech. It doesn't protect lies that amount to defamation. And that was the issue in the case. My understanding of what that means is not just the freedom to speak. It's a freedom to speak truth to power. But truth is the word. Yes. And that was the issue. And find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation. Answer, yes. You're almost spoiled fucking breath. Yeah. And you got everybody out here almost oh, full, but don't right. last. Did you're you right. get in a fight or something? Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> got into an altercation. Ow. Oh. I can't believe Amber beat your ass. I know you could beat her ass. We're not going to oh, talk man. about that. Whitney, truth or dare? <laughs> Okay, did you really start the fight with your sister or did she start it? For real, for real, for real. We're not gonna talk about that. She yes. really did I'm whoop your butt. Oh, we're, we're not talking about it. Yeah, I'm done. I guess I'm done talking about it. I yeah. team argued that you were the abuser, that you instigated physical violence. Did you? I never had to instigate it. I responded to it. You say you were responding, but there are, is evidence. There are tapes in which you acknowledge hitting. There are tapes in which you say, I started the fight. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, I know much right. has been made of, of these audio tapes. They were first leaked online after being uh, edited. But I am looking at a transcript that says, he says, you start physical fights and you say, I did start a physical fight. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. I mean, this is in black and white. I understand context. But you're testifying and you're just telling me today, I never started a physical fight and here you are on tape saying you did. But then there are other times, there's another tape where you're taunting him and saying, oh, tell the world, Johnny Depp, I, a man, am a victim of domestic violence. Tell the world, Johnny, tell them Johnny Depp, I, Johnny Depp, Man, I'm, I'm a victim too of domestic violence and yes. I, you know, it's a fair fight. It sees how many people believe or side with you. What are you referring to when you say you lost a finger? A very large bottle of vodka severing my index, uh, my middle finger in Australia. And what were you referring to when you said a can of mineral spirits was thrown at your nose? She picked up a can of uh, mineral spirits about yay big and uh, heaved it at me and uh, it, it uh, struck me on the bridge of the nose and the right there, you know, the forehead. I'm not gonna be in a physical fucking altercation don't. with you. Then don't. You fucking hit me last night. You fucking. What about all the other times you split? You poke an animal enough, it is it's eventually. Not, doesn't matter how friendly it is, how cool. You can't run away every time. It's it's not brave. It's not strong. It's because I've thrown pots and pans it does not mean that you vases. come and knock on the door. Okay. Just because there are vases does not mean that you come and knock on the door. I said to you, you Amber, are. tell Travis what you just did. Did you just fucking? <laughs> did you punch me in the fucking jaw? Did you fucking kick? <laughs> Did you? Uh -huh. Did you? And you wouldn't say a fucking reason. I don't know what oh, you're talking so about. Lied. Never fucking. I see the Never lie. fucking happened. I see the lie. You really should run with this. Wait, that After we had last night. After you fucking got physically violent with me, I texted Travis. I said, come up here. Because I, I didn't want anything to happen. Me. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's coming to what? Save me? No, go ahead. Continue. You, you, you. Travis, do the rescue. No, don't do that. I said, no. T tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in the you're fucking right. thing. And you, you figured in it the out. face. And you said, no, fucking. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched you lie, you. and then I, I didn't punch you. And by the way, you. I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, uh, hit you me. across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you, babe. You're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, it, even a lot of guys been around a long time. I know. Yeah, no, I when you fucking have a closed I fist. Didn't get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry, I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. you can't I don't know deck what me. the boat motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are your toes? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? How are your I, toes? I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. Oh, That's you, the difference you between me toes. and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you start you physical are fights? You're a baby! Because Call you, the fuck up! Because Johnny. you start physical fights? I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. 
And what did you say in response when Miss Heard said, tell the world, Johnny, tell them Johnny Depp, I, Johnny Depp, a man, I'm a victim to of domestic violence. I said, yes, I am. He and says he never hit you. He can't. never. Is yeah. that a lie? Yes, it is. What about the witnesses who said they have seen you instigate physical violence? I've seen firsthand how people will file rank and support the person they depend on. Did they all come in and lie in court? When I asked his lawyers, why do you think you won? And the answer I got was because she never took responsibility for anything she did in the marriage. I talked about what I did. I, I talked about the horrible language. I talked about being pushed to the extent where I didn't even know the difference between, you know, um, right and wrong. Life had seemingly moved on and you decide to write an op-ed. Why did you do that? Because the op-ed wasn't about my relationship with Johnny. It wasn't about him. I know how many people will come out and say whatever for him. That's his power. That's why I wrote the op-ed, is I was speaking to that phenomenon. How many people will come out in support of him and will fall to his power? He is a very powerful man and people love currying favor with powerful men. This was uh, a hoax, is according to his team. Why didn't I cooperate with the police? As I've testified before, and I will stand by until my dying day, I didn't want to cooperate with them. I didn't want this to be out. I didn't want this to be known. I didn't want to get him in trouble. If it was a host, I could have done that. But five days later, you went to court and it came out. An employee of TMZ testified at court and said that TMZ was tipped off about when you were going to be going to the courthouse and on what side of your face bruises would be apparent. Did you tip off TMZ? I was gonna say, he certainly didn't get tipped off by me or anyone, anyone in my- you know tip off TMZ? Why would they? Are no. You, you ask no one to do that. As I testified to before, it had nothing to do with me. And while working for TMZ, were you involved in any assignments related to Ms. Heard? I was. What was the first time you recall working on an assignment related to Ms. Heard? Uh, I believe it was May 27th, 2016. And what was your role in that assignment? For that, it, Ms. Heard was filing a uh, restraining order at a courthouse in downtown Los Angeles. So um, I dispatched camera people to that location. Under what circumstances would you normally send paparazzi to a courthouse? Uh, only if we had been informed prior. It's not by any means a celebrity hotspot. Um, we would only ever send people there if we had been tipped off that something was occurring and there was somebody present there. And what footage was TMZ trying to capture at the LA courthouse on May 27th, 2016? We were trying to capture uh, Amber leaving the courthouse and an alleged bruise on the right side of her face. What was your team of paparazzi supposed to do while they were at the LA courthouse on May 27th, 2016? The objective was to capture her leaving the courthouse and then she was going to sort of stop and turn towards the camera to display the bruise on the right side of her face, the alleged bruise. There are different incidents that you testified to and the Depp legal team would put up pictures of you publicly right after that or in the days following and saying, that why are there no, no bruises? Again, it's that thing, if you have bruising, if you have injuries, it's fake. If you don't have any, then, it's, then you weren't injured. You had promised to donate seven million dollars of your divorce settlement to charity it was revealed at trial that you haven't done so yet however they played a tape where you stayed on the air that you have donated it do you think that raised questions as to your credibility with the jury i made a, a pledge and that pledge is made over time by its nature and when you say i donated you know that everybody thinks that you've donated it, not that you've pledged it. So for the jurors sitting there, do you think they felt like that was you getting caught in a lie? I shouldn't have to have donated it in an in, in effort to be believed. I shouldn't have had to earmark the entirety of that in order to have uh, You shouldn't have, but once you said you did. Right, which is where it was intended to go. He didn't sue you until after the op-ed came out in December of 2018, right? He sued me in 2019. And the op-ed came out in December of 2018. That is correct. So in October of 2018, you had received your entire $7 million divorce settlement. 
You would that, agree with me? That is correct. Okay. And you hadn't yet been sued by Mr. Depp? This is uh, October, correct. So in this October 2018 interview, you said that you had, quote, donated, end quote, your entire divorce settlement to charity, right? That's correct. Seven million dollars in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. ACLU. And you say this because you, quote, wanted nothing, end quote. That is correct. I've never heard I of, wanted uh, nothing. But you hadn't donated your entire, entire $7 million settlement to charity at that point, had you? That's incorrect. Sitting here today, Ms. Hurd, you still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety no, of Ms. the Hurd, settlement, $7 that, million to question. charity, and I, Ms. I Hurd, intend to Ms. fulfill Hurd, those obligations. Ms. Hurd, that's not my question. Please, what try to question? answer my question. Sitting here today, you have not donated the $7 million, donated, not pledged, donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another. They but the I same don't. Thing. Ms. Hurd, I don't use it synonymously. That's how donations are paid. Ms. Hurd, respectfully, that's not my question. As of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the ACLU. Yes or no? I have not yet. And as of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, correct? I have not yet. Johnny sued me. So as of today, you have not donated, paid $7 million of your divorce settlement to charity, right? I have not been able to fulfill those, uh, those uh, obligations yet. And that's because you did want something, didn't you? I didn't want anything and I didn't get anything. Um, this has been a long time coming. Do you see your future now? I think no matter what, it will mean something. I did the right thing. I did everything I could to stand up for myself and the truth. On the first day of the trial, you issued a statement and part of the statement said, I still have love for Johnny. Yes. Is that still true? Yes. After everything? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love him. A trial watched by millions around the world, ending in a stunning verdict in favor of Johnny Depp. Last week, a jury found that Depp's ex-wife, Amber Heard, had defamed him in a 2018 Washington Post op-ed. She's been ordered to pay more than $10 million in damages. Heard has told you that she has mountains of evidence of abuse, but there are no medical records. Ms. Heard lies. She lies all the time. Well, Why do you think the jury didn't believe her? Because when you look at the verdict, it really comes down to that. The issue was, is what she's saying true or false? And by their verdict, they said, it's false. Well, my sense is that it had a lot to do with accountability, that Johnny owned his issues. He was very candid about his alcohol and drug issues. He was candid about some unfortunate texts that he wrote. And I think it was a sharp contrast to Ms. Heard, who didn't seem, or at least the jury may have perceived, that she didn't take accountability for anything. 